the many in which he is being offered for. Who are they? His offspring. How many are there? As numerous as the stars. As numerous as the grains of sands on the earth. There's a lot. And like Paul says, for the sake of the elect, I'll endure every, anything so that they, the elect, may obtain their salvation. And this is why we go and we preach the gospel to everyone. Because his sheep are out there. And when his sheep hear his voice, they come. Therefore, I will divide him a portion with what? The many. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his soul to the death and he was numbered with the transgressors, yet he bore the sin of, not every, many, and makes intercession for the transgressors. See, what Paul is saying here has already been said. Do you see how awesome the word of God is? I mean, this is unreal. You couldn't, you couldn't dream this up. Like, you couldn't have all these people make this up that with no Twitter. Like, they didn't say, hey, I'm leaving off here. Pick it up there. Like, it's amazing. This is why I pray that you study it, right? We talked about this a couple weeks ago. Study it. Study the Word of God and outline it, right? Outline the Word of God and prepare it. Prepare the Word of God that you study so you can make it a gift for others. But then also read it. Read the Word of God and read it slowly so it, the Word of God, can outline you. And so it, the Word of God, can transform you and prepare you to be a gift, for you to be a gift for others. So there's a difference between studying it and reading it. You read it so we can be a gift for other people. We study it so we can make it a gift for others. And this is what's so awesome about the Word of God. Look at verse 18 again. 